Hey everyone, welcome back to ZTC. Today, we're diving into a fundamental topic in networking, ports and protocols. If you've ever wondered how data gets from one device to another on the internet, this video is for you. So, let's jump right in. First things first, what are ports and protocols? In the world of networking, think of ports as virtual doors and protocols as the rules governing the conversation between devices. Just like a house has different doors for different purposes, devices use different ports for various types of communication. A port is a virtual point where network connections start and end. Ports are software-based and managed by a computer's operating system. Each port is associated with a specific process or service. Ports allow computers to easily differentiate between different kinds of traffic, emails go to a different port than web pages, for instance, even though both reach a computer over the same internet connection. Ports are standardized across all network-connected devices, with each port assigned a number. There are different types of ports available. Serial port. A serial port is also called a communication port and they are used for connection of external devices like a modem, mouse, or keyboard, basically in older PCs. There are two versions of it, which are 9-pin model and 25-pin model. It transmits data at 115 KB slash section. Parallel port. Parallel ports are generally used for connecting scanners and printers. It can send several bits at the same time as it uses parallel communication. USB, universal serial bus in 1997 USB was first introduced. This can connect all kinds of external USB devices, like external hard disk, printer, scanner, mouse, keyboard, etc. PS-2 port. PS-2 ports are special ports used for connecting old computer keyboard and mouse. It was invented by IBM. In old computers, there are minimum of two PS-2 ports, each for the keyboard and the mouse. It is a 6-pin mini DIN connector. VGA port. VGA ports also known as video graphic array connector are those which connect the monitor to a computer's video card. VGA port has 15 holes and it is similar to the serial port connector. But VGA ports have holes in it and the serial port connector has pins in it. Sockets, microphones and speakers are connected with the help of sockets to the sound card of the computer. A protocol is a method of communication between computers and other electronic devices on the same network. It defines the rules or process for exchanging data. Protocols are a common language so that communication can happen despite differences in hardware, software, and so on. Examples of commonly known protocols are HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP. Now, let's see how ports and protocols work together. When you send a request to a website, your computer uses a specific port to initiate the communication. The destination device, say a server, is listening on a specific port for that type of request. The combination of the source port and destination port, along with the chosen protocol, ensures a seamless conversation between devices. There are three main types of network protocols you need to be aware of. Network management protocols, these protocols set out policies designed to monitor, manage, and maintain a network. Examples include SNMP, FTP, POP3 in Telnet. SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, is an internet standard protocol used to monitor and manage network devices connected over an IP. FTP SAD Face File Transfer Protocol, is a standard network protocol used for the transfer of files from one host to another over a TCP-based network, such as the internet. FTP works by opening two connections that link the computers trying to communicate with each other. POP3, POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol version 3, POP3 protocol is used to provide access to the mail inbox that is stored in the email server. POP3 protocol can download and delete messages. Once the POP3 client has established a connection with the mail server it can easily retrieve all the messages from the server. Network communication protocols, a group of protocols used to establish rules and formatting, such as syntax, synchronization and semantics, for exchanging data across a network. 
Types of network communication protocols include TCP, UDP, IP, HTTP, IRC, BGP, and ARP. TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, is a communication standard that enables application programs and computing devices to exchange messages over a network. It is designed to send packets across the internet and ensure the successful delivery of data and messages over networks. UDP, User Datagram Protocol, UDP, is a communications protocol for time-sensitive applications like gaming, playing videos, or domain name system, DNS, lookups. UDP results in speedier communication because it does not spend time forming a firm connection with the destination before transferring the data. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, is the foundation of the World Wide Web and is used to load web pages using hypertext links. Network Security Protocols Security protocols are protocols that use security measures such as cryptography and encryption to protect data. Examples include SFTP, SSL, and HTTPS. SSL, the Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, protocol was developed by Netscape Communications Corporation. SSL ensures the data that is transferred between a client and a server remains private. This protocol enables the client to authenticate the identity of the server. HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, HTTPS, is the secure version of HTTP, which is the primary protocol used to send data between a web browser and a website. HTTPS is encrypted in order to increase security of data transfer. Here are some of the most often encountered network ports and their associated services. FTP protocol is used for file transfer. SSH protocol is commonly used for secure remote administration and secure file transfer over an unsecured network. Telnet is a protocol that allows you to connect to remote computers, called hosts, over a TCP IP network. SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is a TCP IP protocol used in sending and receiving email. A domain name system, DNS, turns domain names into IP addresses, which allow browsers to get to websites and other internet resources. Network Time Protocol, NTP, is a protocol that allows the synchronization of system clocks from desktops to servers. Internet Message Access Protocol, IMAP, is a protocol for accessing email or bulletin board messages from a, possibly shared, mail server or service. Thank you so much for your patience. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Join us on this cybersecurity adventure and let's make the digital world a safer place together. That's all for today. We are signing off. Stay secure.